What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Evelyn, and today I want to highlight some upcoming shows and films featuring queer lady characters. So sit back, enjoy the video, and if there are any upcoming shows or films I've missed, please let me know in the comments. The awkwardly charming and hilarious dramedy Feel Good is back for its second season, and I could not be more excited. If you caught my best lesbian shows you're not watching video, then you already know how good this show is. And judging by the season two trailer, it's about to get even better. I wish I could just start fresh, but I just keep replaying the past. You have a career, you got a girl who loves you, don't throw all that away. Between May's reluctant stint in rehab, Lisa Kudrow reprising her hilarious role as May's mother, and the first lady of Rough Riders, Eve, joining the cast, it's almost too much. I'm so excited! I'm so excited! You can catch the season two premiere of Feel Good June 4th on Netflix. Betty, HBO's unapologetic, female-centric, queer-as-hell skateboarding coming-of-age comedy is back. It's a sex shop. That's legal. <laughs> yes, Camille, and one day, when you're ready, I'll take you inside. How will I know when I'm ready? <laughs> and if you haven't caught the show yet, definitely check out my lesbian shows you might have missed video. Betty is one of the few shows that consistently leaves me grinning from ear to ear, and I cannot wait to see what kinds of shenanigans the girls get into this season. You can catch Betty's season two premiere June 11th on HBO. And after Betty, make sure to stick around for In the Heights, a musical film based on the 2005 Lin-Manuel Miranda musical of the same name. Lights up on Washington Heights, up at the break of day, I wake up and I got this little punk I gotta chase away. Pop the grape at the crack of dawn, sing while I wipe down the awning. Hey y'all, uh, good morning. It's about the lives and loves of the residents of Washington Heights a largely Dominican neighborhood in New York City. But unlike the musical, the film version has added a lesbian couple. Salon owner Daniela and beautician Carla, who were only close friends in the musical, are now girlfriends in the film. Obviously, if you're a Hamilton fan or just a fan of musicals in general, you'll definitely want to check this one out. In the Heights will be available to stream on HBO Max for 31 days, and it will also be available in theaters. The Republic of Sarah is the CW's latest young adult show about a teacher who goes up against a greedy mining company by declaring herself to be her own republic. The governor wants our land and she believes it's okay to destroy us to get it. But we are going to fight back. The way to save our town is to turn into a country. Which I assumed was impossible, but then I Googled it. And it's a thing. While Sarah herself isn't queer, her roommate AJ is a lesbian. And although I'm sure most of the plot will be about Sarah and her republic, I wanted to shout out the CW because they really are the most consistent network when it comes to LGBTQ representation. You can catch the series premiere of The Republic of Sarah June 14th on the CW. After a season one finale full of twists, turns, and surprises, Motherland Fort Salem is finally back. The second season of the Military Witch Show seems like it might dive deeper into the lore and past of the magical alternate universe it inhabits. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, make sure you're all caught up with the first season because season two is returning June 22nd on Freeform. you might want to take this next one with an extreme grain of salt. But there is a rumor that Netflix's Gypsy might be returning June 25th for a second season. If you caught my best canceled lesbian shows video, then you know Gypsy was a super slow burn psychological thriller about a May-December lesbian affair. And honestly, I wouldn't mind another season of Gypsy. But I've only found one source claiming the show is returning, and I don't know if that source is reputable or not. Personally, I think it's a bit of a long shot. It's been four years since season one aired, not to mention Netflix hasn't included Gypsy in their June lineup of shows. But you never know. I say be on the lookout, but maybe keep your expectations low. This month, Hulu dropped Pride, a six-part docu-series chronicling the fight for LGBTQ rights in the United States. Each episode examines a different decade 
beginning with the 1950s and ending with the current day. I've only caught the first three episodes, but I love how the series highlights not only the movement, but the key individuals who influenced so much of the movement. And even though I didn't love the structure of some of the episodes, I think the history that Pride explores is so important, and I highly recommend it to every queer and non-queer person alike. If you're in the mood for something light, fluffy, and surprisingly queer, look no further than Netflix's animated family road trip comedy, The Mitchells vs. The Machines. 90% of the movie is the Mitchell family trying to survive a robot apocalypse, and it's about as quirky and funny as you would think. But the undisputed heroine of the film is Katie, who is 100% queer. Not coded, not insinuated, but actually queer, which is awesome to see in a family film. The Mitchells vs. The Machine is funny, well-made, and heartwarming, and I can't recommend it enough. And rounding out this month's list are two Peacock originals featuring queer characters. The first is Girls 5 Eva, a show about a one-hit wonder 90s girls group who becomes popular again after a hot new artist samples one of their songs, and at least one of the group's members is a lesbian. The second in Peacock's queer lineup is We Are Lady Parts, a show that chronicles the highs and lows of a Muslim all-female punk band. I haven't watched either show, so I don't know how good or gay they are, but if you have, please let me know in the comments. And speaking of comments, be sure to check out the pinned comment on this video for a list of shows featuring minor queer characters that are also returning in June. These are shows that I don't watch and don't know much about, but if you're interested, you can definitely check them out. And that is it for the list. I want to give a quick shout out to my newest patrons, Tiffany, Julia, and Melissa. And if you want more movie or book recommendations, definitely consider joining Patreon. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.